Hey guys, be here with our next Teen Lib Crates talk. Today is our last discussion of the field guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe. And um, what an interesting conclusion to the story, don't you think? Um, so the last time that we left off, um, Norris was asking Artie to go to prom with him. And Artie was like, you know, that's really not my scene. I'm not into it. Um, I'm going to pass. And so Norris is kind of bummed. Um, but that doesn't affect his ability to play hockey. He, uh, they have their first hockey game, their ragtag hockey team in Austin, Texas, has their first, um, hockey game and, um, Norris has this experience from one of the opposing team, um, and it was racist. It was not cool. It was not cool. Um, and so Norris handled it very well. He had thoughts, but he didn't act on them, right? And what he did do was he played hockey extremely well and had a couple of steals from this jerk and ended up scoring and the jerk was all like being a jerk <laughs> as jerks are wont to do and um he like approaches Norris like it's gonna go down and out of nowhere Liam comes and like checks the guy gives him a shoulder check and um Basically tells him to calm down. Tells them both to calm down. Um, so they end up winning the hockey game. Which is pretty cool. And Norris realizes that he kind of likes his place in this group of people that he's found at Anderson High. After the game, Maddie invites Norris to go to prom. Not as like a date, but as like a friend group. And... He was like, yeah, let's, that sounds good. Let's go. Um, but at, while they're talking about it, Liam is there and he notices like their banter going back and forth and thinks, hmm, well, I think he thinks he didn't, we don't really know what he thinks, but it's obvious that he sees something going on between Maddie and Norris. So they go to prom and... Norris ends up having a really good time. He likes dancing, and so they go out onto the dance floor, and they're having fun, dancing. And then Maddie takes him outside and kisses him. And we find out that Maddie has liked Norris, like, since the beginning. And, oh, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't catch on, there will be spoilers in this talk. Um, anyway, and Norris kind of realizes that, yeah, he kind of likes Maddie too, and, um, but also at the same time feels kind of guilty about Artie, um, so they, after that, they end up going to this after party, and who would be there but Artie, and she is making out with Ian, like, making out like super making out and so Norris gets all mad and he goes up and he's like what's going on and Artie is feeling some type of way because she knows that he went to prom without her which I think is silly because she said that she doesn't want to go so what right does she have to be upset <laughs> at the same time Norris did make out with Maddie so drama drama's happening. Um, anyway, so Artie tells Maddie that, um, Norris has this field guide that he's been using, he's been taking notes, he's been writing about people, and it's, you know, this, this notebook that he got when he first started at Anderson High, and... He's been using it to make his own field guide for all these different types of people. Um, but, you know, he's realized that 
these are all just first impressions and not what he really thinks about people. Um, however, Maddie reads the field guide and um, is not impressed. She is actually really upset and decides that things are over. I mean, they barely began. Like, this is all happening in the same night where Maddie and Norris go to prom, they make out, they go to this after party, Artie throws a fit, and Maddie realizes that Norris is not as um, cool or nice as she thought he was. Um, so in response to that, Norris decides to, to steal a bottle of champagne from the party and walks home while drinking. Um, needless to say, this doesn't end well. He ends up getting drunk and calling Eric, his friend in Canada, and also he calls his dad in Canada and says really hurtful things to the both of them. Um, and his dad, um, later gets a call from his mom because what had happened was Norris was in a uh, uh, a phone booth. Apparently they had those in Austin. Um, I've not seen the phone booth in action in a long time, at least not in Kentucky. <laughs> um, but Norris, you know, he's acting belligerent and gets stopped by the police. And um, I don't know about you, but when I was reading that, I thought, oh no, oh no, something bad is going to happen because Norris, Norris is a person of color and um, sometimes bad things happen between the police and people of color, right? And so he ends up fine. He was taken to the holding cell and his mom was called and mom came and got him. Um, and she got really upset because of those same reasons. She was afraid that something was going to happen to him because he was acting a fool, <laughs> straight up fool. And, um, you know, he really could have gotten hurt in that situation. Um, so his mom calls his dad and the next morning his dad is there. He flew in last minute from Montreal and... Um, at this point, Norris asks if he can go home to Montreal and be done with Texas. And his parents say, yeah, yeah, you can go back to Canada. So, turns out he's going to leave after all and be done. So he tries to go say bye to everyone. He tries to say bye to Maddie. And Maddie's not having it, and he says bye to Liam, and Liam gets very upset because, um, you know, Norris is Liam's friend. They play hockey together. They have a good rapport, and it's, it really is sad to lose your friend like that. To you know, it's not like you lose your friend necessarily, but it's harder to keep up that those kinds of relationships from a distance. Um, but yeah, Liam is like, really, you should, you should just stay and try to fix, try to fix the mess that you've created. Um, and then Norris goes and talks to Artie and gets to see her exhibit of photos that she has made she's a part of at a display and um, they both agree that they would not have been good as a couple and that and then they agree to be friends so that resolves really nicely um, and so Norris and his dad go to the airport and they're chilling and Norris realizes that he actually wants to stay and try to make things work in Austin so he asks his dad if he can stay 
And dad says yes. So um, Norris turns around and goes back and tries to make amends with Maddie <clears throat> and gets his job back at the Boneyard. And uh, Norris, not Norris, but Liam gets a job at the Boneyard as well. So they're co-workers, and that's pretty cool. Um, and so Norris, at the end, Norris is trying to, like, be friends with Maddie. <clears throat> and Maddie is just really not into it. She is not interested in being Norris's friend or anything more. Certainly not anything more. And so this is where I have a little bit, a little bit of a beef with Norris, um, because he's all like, I'm gonna sway her, I'm gonna bring her around to be my friend, and then be my girlfriend, and that rubs me the wrong way. Like, if someone says they're not interested, they're not interested, and it's not okay to push like that. It's just not. So, um, don't do as Norris does. <laughs> if someone says no, they mean it. Listen when people say no. That's important. Um, but, you know, the, the silver lining here is that Norris is, you know, doing better as far as, like, the things that he... Hi, Tori. As far as the things that he, um, you know, the way that he thinks about people and the way that he interacts with people. And um, Norris is now friends with Liam. And that, that friendship can continue to be a good thing for, for the two of them. So, that's all that I have for our last discussion of The Field Guide to the North American Teenager. Um... Our next book is called Contagion by Aaron Bowman, and um, the Lib Crates are not ready yet. They will be ready soon. Um, I will be sure to make an announcement when the new Lib Crates are ready, and you can find that announcement here on Instagram, and um, I'm hoping that they'll be ready by early next week maybe mid next week. Um, but just keep an eye out here and I'll let you know. And yeah, that's all I have for today. So until next time, be safe, take care, wash your hands, and we will see you next Wednesday.